Hello and welcome to day six of my permanent shackling vlog. Um, well, as it says right on my foot, uh, this is the sixth day I've been shackled, um, with many more to come. Um, if you're not familiar with my, uh, my permanent shackling project, uh, be sure to watch the installing permanent ankle shackles video. Um, it'll explain more. Um, but basically, the rundown, <laughs> if you don't want to watch that whole video, is that I'm a filmmaker uh, making a movie about um, a guy who's permanently shackled, uh, kept barefoot and locked in a, a prison cell. And in order to uh, write from experience, I decided to do that myself. So um, that's why my feet are permanently shackled right now. So watch that video. It's interesting. It shows how I uh, permanently shackled him. Again, I apologize for my dirty bare feet in your face. Um, I think they're actually dirtier today than they were last time. So, uh, sorry about that. I was doing some work in my uh, studio today. And, of course, as part of my uh, rules during my uh, permanent shackling is that I have to stay barefoot. Of course, that's nothing new for me anyway. I've been barefoot for years, <laughs> basically. Um, so, because I work from home, I, I never leave the house anyway. So, anyway... On with the vlog. So today I uh, recorded a uh, shower, how to uh, remove my pants and my underwear before the shower, and a uh, video of me in the shower. Well, don't worry, there's no nudity, just my feet and my shackles. Um, that's probably already been posted. You may have already seen it or not. Um, and I've also, uh, as I mentioned in the last vlog, that I was going to uh, spend the night, all night, without ankle pads. And um, I did. Uh, it was less than comfortable, <laughs> that's for sure, wearing these uh, heavy shackles around bare ankles, even when laying in bed. Uh, it's, it punishes, punishes my ankles. Um, they were not really sore this morning, uh, kind of numb. I guess. Um, you can see in this video, uh, especially on my left ankle, the back of my ankle is, is bruised. Um, that's from the shackles being worn 24-7. Um, and like I said in the last video, the uh, I wear my ankle pads uh, beneath the shackles, so the shackles are actually uh, on my bare ankles at all times, 24-7, um, to be honest. Um, especially now that I'm going to be sleeping without uh, ankle pads. So I'll be wearing the ankle shackles. Well, obviously I'll be wearing them, they're permanent. Um, but they'll be worn around bare ankles while I'm sleeping at night. There's no more ankle pads uh, while I'm in bed. Um, in the morning, I will uh, roll up the ankle pads and put them underneath so that the weight of the shackle will rest on top of them and the shackles will be worn around bare ankles all day as well. So uh, this is the ultimate test. <laughs> Can I wear these heavy still ankle shackles with all day 24-7 contact against my bare ankles? Um, I think I can. I mean, I've pretty much done it uh, so far. I mean, we're six days in. And I think the first day I did use ankle pads um, beneath the shackle or like between my ankles and, and the shackles. Um, but then I just found that they were just too snug. Um, they actually uh, made my ankles even sore, uh, more sore, uh, because they they were uh, adding thickness to my ankles. And so when I walked, um, when you walk, your ankles expand and contract. And uh, when they're expanded with the ankle pads between the shackle and my ankles, it gets really, it's snug, it's tight. So having that repetitive, you know, tightness uh, was actually worse than uh, just wearing the steel directly against the, the, my bare ankles because um, I have that extra space uh, to uh, f flex my ankles. So that's basically where I'm at now where the shackles are 24-7 are around bare ankles. I made a time-lapse video of my entire night, eight hours in bed with uh, shackles around bare ankles, no... no uh, ankle pads. Um, I'm sure that's already been posted before this is. Um, these are kind of a day behind the, um, the uh, vlogs. So uh, whenever I talk about doing something today, 
it's probably already been posted on the on the YouTube channel. So uh, go look for it there if you're watching this and you didn't see it. Um, I tossed and turned, and I was pretty tired when I woke up this morning. Um, it was it was definitely more difficult to sleep with uh, the shackles around bare ankles. Um, they didn't hurt quite as bad as I thought they would. Um, like I said earlier, uh, when I first started wearing them, um, there's no way I could have worn them around bare ankles while sleeping. Not not a chance. They were just uh, my my ankles were a lot more sensitive uh, six days ago. Let's put it that way. Um, even with the ankle pads, um, my ankles were really sore the morning after on the first day. On the second day, um, still not much better. On the third day, that's when everything changed. Um, I guess my ankles just said, okay, well, I guess we're going to have to get used to this now. So, And they did. Um, with ankle pads on the third night sleeping, um, I could barely even feel the shackles. I mean, it was like they, I wasn't even wearing them. Um, if I moved my feet, of course, I'd hear the chain. If I flexed my feet um, and you know my ankles, I could feel the pressure because, like I said, they fit a, a bit snug with the ankle uh, pads underneath them. Um, but if I wasn't moving at all, the, it, I could I would have bet money that I wasn't even wearing them. That's how how my ankles had uh, adapted to wearing them just after three days. So I thought, well, three days after that, you know, I'll give it a try without ankle pads. And it worked. I mean, like I said, it it wasn't comfortable, that's for sure. But it, I wasn't in pain, so I'm I'm pretty proud of my ankles. Um, they adapted pretty well to these shackles so far, and they're gonna have to adapt further because uh, there will not be ankle pads from this point forward um, at night, in bed. So uh, hopefully, it's not going to hurt <laughs> or you know maybe i'll actually get uh, some more sleep uh, i didn't get much sleep last night i'm actually i was actually pretty tired when i woke up this morning so um hopefully that will get better over time because it's not changing i'm confident that my ankles will adapt um it's just you got the weight of my feet and my uh eight legs pressing on the shackle uh, between the bed and my bare ankles, um, and they could be pressed like that for you know long periods of time without moving. Um, so it it's it is tough. It's rough on my ankles, um, but they'll they'll toughen up. They'll they'll get over it because <laughs> I'm going to be wearing these for a very long time. As I've stated before, I mean they're gonna have to get used to it at this point. On another note, um, I've actually been playing around with the idea of getting these welded on. Um, rivets are, are permanent, um, and they're steel rivets. I mean, like I said before, the uh, I have no tools. I can't remove these shackles, um, no matter how bad I want them off. Um, they're they're not coming off. The problem is, is that all it takes is a power drill, and they're off. So I kind of want, you know, I, I need to get into the mind state of... Uh, of my prisoner in my movie um, and he they're permanent I mean there's in his mind they're 100 they're they're never coming off and it's just guaranteed um, while I just haven't been able to reach that mind state I mean of course when I first went on I was really you know there was excitement and fear but after wearing them for a while and after thinking about it it's like all I, all it takes is a power drill and you know and a little bit of effort and these are off my ankles so i don't know it's a, it's a huge step if i weld them on i honestly don't know how to get them off i mean the only way i would be able to get them off is to cut them off and uh that's really dangerous i mean you're, you're cutting tool grade steel you know half an inch away from a bare ankle um of course i could you know shove metal up under there to protect it or whatever but it's yeah <laughs> i i'm not sure if i want to go that that far um it'd be quite quite a move uh in a different direction um because yeah if they were welded on i i don't know if i could get them off to be honest i mean without injuring myself so uh I, it's it's a thought <laughs> it's in the back of my head um i'll let you know well, that's about all I have to report today. Um, so, 
Um, also, just make sure you comment, uh, ask questions, or uh, make suggestions. Um, I know some people may not want to see my dirty bare feet shackled on their screen the whole time during these vlogs. Um, some people may enjoy it. I don't know. Um, I, I mean, I'm trying to keep them uh, active, you know, so there's something happening. It's not just a stationary picture of my feet, and that's why I'm kind of just playing with my toes and, you know, and doing stuff like that. Uh, but if you, you know, want to see something else, just let me know. Um, I, I'll work it in. Um, I just can't think of anything else that I could show during these vlogs uh, that pertains to my the permanent shackling of my bare feet. So uh, this is topical. <laughs> so uh, let me know uh, what you think, and... Um, also, go watch those other videos. I'm going to be posting more videos. I also have to do one where I'm walking uh, with the ankle pads the way I normally wear them. You'll see the way I wear them in the, uh, in the shower video. Um, I'm, I wear the pads the same way in the shower as I do when I'm walking around in, in the day. Um, so you'll see kind of how that works anyway. So anyway, thanks for watching. And again, uh, be sure to like and uh, comment below. Thanks.